Well, welcome everybody to our online program on addiction recovery from the Sunshine Coast Health Center here in Powell River, BC. And we've been talking about relationships. And these are pretty central to recovery. In fact, research is pretty clear that developing positive connections with other people is essential for recovery. On the other hand, people suffering with addictions are notorious for having very poor relationships, almost as if uh, people with addictions, they really don't know how to relate to others. So we're just offering some tips here on how to develop some positive relationships. Uh, Tip two uh, that we're going to pursue is the idea of accepting people for who they are. And this might sound kind of weird, but it's uh, a lot of people suffering from addictions and in early recovery, uh, they tend to look at people not as they are, but as they want them to be. And this is always a problem because, uh, you know, people are just people. This is the idea of being the author of your life is that adults, uh, they simply do what they decide to do, regardless of what anybody else wants them to do. And so to be able to accept this is, is, is pretty important. And part of that acceptance is, for example, to recognize that everybody is imperfect. Now, those of you uh, who are part of a 12-step program knows that this sort of acceptance of imperfection is, is a key principle to the 12-step program. That's why they have step 10, which every day you uh, sort of go over what you've done and make a decision, geez, was that good, bad, and... It, how could I improve that? Now, they just, uh, the 12-step program assumes uh, that you're imperfect and that you're going to screw up. And so these are the maintenance steps. Uh, one of the maintenance steps is simply to every day you go over what you've done and what didn't work out and, and try to do better. Right? So the idea of imperfection is pretty important to the 12-step program, but also in recovery because it's simply reality. To give you a really graphic example of this, uh, one of the ones that I use uh, at the center is uh, you may remember when uh, the hockey player Danny Heatley killed his uh, teammate uh, Dan Snyder in a car accident. Danny Heatley was driving his car way too fast and uh, killed his teammate. So he was brought up on charges of, of, of vehicular manslaughter or something like that. And Dan Snyder's parents showed up in the court and they actually told the judge they didn't want Danny Heatley to go to jail and they made this comment that everybody is human is a human being and human beings make mistakes. And that's a pretty graphic example that Dan Snyder's parents were able to accept Danny Heatley as being human, as being imperfect. And so this is, a, this is a bit of a trick, right, to, to be able to understand that all of us are imperfect and to be able to appreciate that. And so we don't go in expecting people to be a certain way or to do certain things that we would like them to do, but just that they do it on their own. But it's also a respect uh, for other people if you can accept that who people are are simply who they are. And to appreciate that, that they may have different ideas than you, they have different beliefs than you, they perceive things differently than you do. All of these are important clues, or important uh, things that, you could, that will help you create a more positive connection with other people. So, in other words, we're, we're going to appreciate the other person as someone different than us. So that's the second tip in our uh, relationship series. And we'll be back uh, next time with another tip.